Hi, my name is Seth Rosin. I'm an exhibit program specialist with the Museum of Natural History and Science here at Cincinnati Museum Center. Today we are in our light lab and we're going to be doing an activity with our CMC staff called Stranded Island Survivor Challenge here in our light lab. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking various household items and things you might find in luggage that might have washed ashore on an island, such as a ruler, a hanger, we've got a toothbrush, we've got a tennis ball, we've got some dental floss, a little Ziploc bag, a scissor, a little pen. And what our teams are going to be doing they're going to be taking these items and they're going to be constructing a device and they're going to use that device to retrieve this raft. They're going to be using both innovation and the scientific method, changing out their variables to try and retrieve this raft right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to see our staff standing behind these cones. They'll be building their devices and they'll be trying to retrieve this raft here, making sure not to step over these cones into the shark infested water. Hello, I'm Nathan Wilkinson and I'm the Performing Arts Coordinator. Hi, my name is Lindsay Real and I handle Corporate Relations. I'm Amanda Bishop, I'm the School Programs Coordinator. My name is Lindsay Simmons, I work in the Cincinnati History Museum and I am their Program Coordinator. I'm Jessica Urban and I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer. Hi, I'm Jay Culladine, I'm Director of Individual Giving. See, here's the thing. Here. I've watched every episode of Survivor, and I have Man vs. Wild DVR, so I think we're going to win. So, Jay, what are you doing? I am building a rocket ship <laughs> to fly over the raft. Okay. We need something heavy attached here. Put your name tags up here. So it's heavy. It weighs down. Okay. Put it on this No, that's at all. You know, that's all. Awesome. Keys. We're having our first attempt, and we're only 45 seconds in. Well, at the moment, right. we're just really trying to get enough weight on this hook so that whenever it hits the raft, it's going to help actually pull it this way. We turn out that the ball is a little too bouncy for it, so we're going to try our keys now that we have, that we had brought with us, our work keys. Successful, so now it's going back and trying to be a little bit more inventive. 
Is that dental floss? That is awesome. Half the fun is trying new stuff. That's what I'm saying. Spirit of innovation. I've never seen two more competitive teams than these two teams. They did a fantastic job. They were very creative with their devices. I think the most successful part about our team was that we all worked together collectively. Absolutely. And uh, the, uh, the, the first time that we tried to get the raft, uh, we used the sticky labels with the hanger only, which seemed to, uh, to not have enough weight. So uh, luckily, the, uh, the brilliant minds of my team uh, decided to add a few items to give it more weight. Well, I think that the tray was the quickest. So that was once we actually got it strung up and we got the string through the little metal part, um, throwing this one and actually just like getting it to land on top of the raft was probably the quickest. Um, but I'd have to say just the idea of uh, whenever we weighted something down with the string and got it behind the raft, um, that was really the true key. It was just like which items we were going to use each time. And why are you better than the other team? I mean, look at us. Do we have enough time? <laughs> to go through all the reasons. With the difference of only over a little, over a minute, the winner is, with a time of eight minutes and 30 seconds, over nine minutes and 40 seconds, Team One! Congratulations to you all. Good game, good game. Where are my I'll be signing autographs um, over at the table here if anybody's <laughs> interested.